good morning finally some sunshine so today's job is to remove all my solar panels and all this old unistrup roof rack that i made when i was at the mule because we're having a mule roof rack fitted to the van in stages so i've got to fit the side panel and the back panel and then once we've tested the nib the front end we can get it coated and fitted and then rewire all the light bar in uh, I am going to have to cut all the cables to the light, external light in the pot and then rewire new lighting in at a late stage. So, just removing all the roof right now. I'm not, it's not me that's just fitting the roof rack, but I've got all my employees working for me. <laughs> a rough bastard. Skill. Good morning, if that will eat. Back is fitted. The sides are fitted. Just need one more cross beam and then I can fit my solar panels back. Slowly getting in. So the majority of the roof rack is on. It's looking pretty swish. The final part going in. The solar panel is back on, 400 watts. <laughs> what are you doing? So I bought these sill protectors that fit in here. It comes with a primer and they are pre-cut, come with like 3M. I'll leave a link below. And basically these, just so these sill protectors they come grooved there and you'll see on there there's two grooves so they just slot in there and just protect the sill as you're going in Ignore all the videos of van lifers on beaches with sunsets in bikinis and all that sort of stuff. This is real van life. Look at the clag come in. So we've just not long finished work. Look at the roof rack on that. Look at the beast. So we've just been for a nice long dog walk. And this typical fashion of van life shit goes wrong as always i'll show you so when you want to take the chill off your van you come back such deeply easily run and it's e03 yay just what we need free so i haven't got low voltage which it does say on the internet as well for one of those arrow codes because i am 
99% of my batteries because I'm on electric hookup as well. My voltage is fine upon my Victron stuff. So it's got to be the glow plug. So that's my job for this evening. See, it's not all sunshine beaches and bikini clad men. Uh, all that false stuff about van life. This is the reality. So got to go and do that now. I'll see you in a bit. E03, I believe, is the glow plug. So I've had to buy a new glow plug and some other stuff. So my job for the rest of the evening is to go around, access the diesel heater, and swap that glow plug for this new one. So that's what tonight's job is, and hopefully that'll clear that full. Fingers crossed. Unscrewed the air intake. I'm gonna take this out and then change this part here which is the glow plug and replace it with this new one from there so i've just disconnected the fuse so it's not live and then just go from there so i've just swapped out the glow plug that is the old glow plug and the basket that goes around it was pretty messed up I'm hoping that works. You now just to test it and fire it up, otherwise, pretty fucked. Fixed, uh, swapped the glow plug out, uh, switched it on and it's fired up. And it hasn't come up with the EO3 error, so I'm gonna whack that on the high setting, leave it on for a bit and let it burn up. But that's, uh, job done. It's ticking away. So fingers crossed that's sorted. But what I am going to do, obviously, because that glow plug arrived today, I ordered that off Amazon. So I'll leave a link for that if anybody's interested. Uh, I'm going to order another one and carry that with me as a spare uh, for these couple of weeks in Scotland, just in case. But hopefully, that should be. Um, the end of it as such because that is a new diesel heater that was fitted around march this year um and it's only really been used extensively the past couple of weeks with that cold spell that we had and all that sort of stuff so just gonna have to keep an eye on it but it's starting to heat up you can see the bars you can hear the pump increase so fingers crossed that's the end of it so we'll, we'll see over the next couple of days but Van life, eh? You just all these little things that you need to know or need to be able to fix while you're on the road in crappy conditions. UK weather, van life, and all that sort of stuff. You just can't beat it. Hence, ooh, I can feel the warmth around my legs already. So we're gonna call it quits there and say goodnight. Uh before I do, last little update as well. Still no fucking kitchen. Uh kitchen was a road supposed to arrive on Friday last week. Uh, from the company I ordered it on it never got dispatched it never got collected I emailed them I've tried to ring them uh, apparently it was dispatched yesterday it was supposed to be delivered today but still nothing so fingers crossed they're hoping that it's going to arrive tomorrow so I'm hoping that this that he's sleeping on at the moment uh, I'm going to hopefully rip that out and then start fitting the kitchen by this weekend because this is my last weekend before I go to Scotland basically so I've got a few more things to do last loop, few things roof racks on which is amazing it is a, a piece of designing uh, magnificence if that's a word no it is a piece of beauty in my eyes I can't stop looking at it I think it finishes the outside of the van on uh, I have got a new Wi-Fi antenna which I'll show you in one of the clips as well, which I've then got to reroute through uh, into my net gear. The other thing I've got to do is tomorrow, I've got to refit 400 watts of solar onto the roof. Uh, I'm selling two 100 watt solar panels. If anyone's interested, they're after two Renji 100 watt solar panels. I'm reducing the amount of solar I have and uh, I'm going to be selling a Victron MPPT, which is 100 by 30, 12 volt, if anyone's interested in that. And I am in the new year going to be selling a Victron uh, DC to DC, 
a 30 amp DC to DC because I'm going to be swapping that out for a the new latest Victron which is like a book faster 50 amp DC to DC because I believe in my eyes especially in winter solar is pretty useless unless you have it tilted which I don't and I don't want to um, so I'm gonna to have to oh, have that warmth around my legs so I'm gonna to have to rely on uh, back charging while I'm driving especially in winter but also in summer and stuff like that so I'm gonna try and increase the amount of amperage I can get off my alternator into the ledger system to charge 300 amps of lithium so hopefully put in a 50 amp and a 30 amp DC to this give me 80 amps of, as I'm driving so I've got for sale two 100 solar watt panels energy ones a Victron MPPT 100 by 30 12 volt and a DC to DC 30 amp let me know if you're interested anyway I'm rambling see you later bye bye Scotland is coming